The original genesis of Vicarious Surgical was uh, way back in about 2009. Dr. Barry Green, uh, who was a longtime family friend of Adam's family, came to Adam with an idea. An idea of placing a series of instruments inside the abdomen so that the surgeon wouldn't be constrained uh, by the abdominal wall. Back then it was a surgical laparoscopic scaffold and pretty soon the scaffolding, a lot of the other things kind of fell by the wayside and, and this vision of miniaturizing the surgeon uh, and placing them inside the patient is really what took hold. When surgeons come here and try our instrument, try the vicarious robot, and they tell us that they feel that this isn't better robotic surgery or better laparoscopic surgery, but they feel like this is like open surgery, but done remotely, then that's when we feel that we have created a successful product. The technology should disappear into the background. In 2014, you know, we were all happened to be in Massachusetts. We all met up down in Westport. A silly kind of sounding story, but it was really, it just sticks in my memory where we're walking down the beach talking about what this could be. We had a single robotic arm that you, you know, would track the human's arm and would mimic what they were doing. And we actually used it to, you know, throw this little paper ball. And it, you know, the three of us were just in awe. Not only did we have this vision, but we now had a prototype that was kind of demonstrating it. And we we're starting to like dream and fathom about what we could do with this. Because so much of what we're doing is focused on value-based care, on the idea that you know not only are we reducing costs, but we're increasing reimbursement for the hospital, we're making procedures more efficient, we can actually make it more practical for more people to have surgical procedures, and at the same time, make those procedures safer and more effective. We are really building something that is, it's, you know, it's going to help patients, it's going to make surgeons' lives easier, it's, it's going to save the healthcare system money. The biggest thing that this will offer is the ability to really democratize care. That's the mission and that's the long-term vision that we're aiming for.